name is Lorelai Sterlin. I am a volunteer and board member here at the Black Lion Prairie Raptor Center. And we hope that everyone is staying healthy and safe at home during quarantine time. And we definitely miss you. And we hope that we'll be able to have you back on first Saturdays soon. But meanwhile, we are indeed still making progress here on the prairie. So I'm here today with Bob Mione. And he is the, um, the nature preserve manager at the Connemara Conservancy and many of you may very well recognize Bob if not his name and that is from several years ago when we did our Accenture restoration plots Bob was very generous with his input with his experience and with his his help on those to help make those a great success that they are today so Bob is here today to talk about one of the initiatives that he and the Con Connemara group have undertaken and that the Black Lion Prairie Raptor Center is partnering on. Bob? Okay, okay. So what uh, we started three years ago at uh, Connemara Meadow was the reintroduction of bobwhite quail. A lot of people talk about restoration. They only think about uh, plants and grass, but uh, a big part of it is the, the animals that used to live in North Texas and one of those, the icon bird, as far as I'm concerned, was a bobwhite quail. So we started reintroducing uh, bobwhite quail to the Connemara Meadow. At the same time that was happening, and we knew about it, but we weren't partnered up. The people at Lilo was, were doing the same thing. And uh, over the years, we've kind of gotten closer and closer together. We had a big uh, conference uh, sometime in January and invited uh, a lot of people, a lot of organizations, City of Plano, City of Allen, uh, City of Frisco, the Raptor Center. Uh, and we're just, uh, as a group, focused on restoration of Bobwhite quail. And this is a big, this is the, here at the Raptor Center, the habitat is so wonderful. And we are in the process, this is a brush pile uh, uh, behind me. And uh, we're in the process of making these and we're gonna bring some quail out here in about two or three weeks. Uh, the first edition, uh, we'll put them out here and let them in the cage, let them get familiar with the area and then we'll release them. And uh, away we go. Look, it looks like it'll take three to five years to do it. The long-term objective, long-term objectives is at the uh, end of year five we'll get quail from the raptor center we'll trap those quail and we'll move them to the Connemara meadow where we will trap quail from the Connemara meadow and move them here so that we have a cross breeding and keep it bigger in the in the genetics and we'll do the same same hopefully with the city of plano with lila and we'll move the quail around so the genetics are, are healthy so it's a, it's a long-term effort. It's very uh, uh, it's expensive in terms of time and money, uh, and, uh, but uh, we think well worth it. And uh, this brush pile, let me just point this out. It looks like a big pile of uh, uh, cedar limbs, but underneath is a base that, of bigger limbs, the trunk of the tree, uh, which allow the quail and rabbits and rats to get in there and hide from predators. And then we just cover it with uh, the other branches so it looks like a brush pile. So um, that's where that's where we are, and that's where we're going. All right. So here from the Blackland Prairie Raptor Center, we thank you and keep tuned because we will be coming back with more about the Bob White Quail reintroduction. And we thank very Bob uh, Mione and the folks from Connemara very much for coming out and helping us build these brush piles here. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing these birds, these wonderful Bob White Quails, and hearing their songs. Thank you.